Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what I want to address in this video is people ask why we believe Grandstream uh, is the best value for a PBX. Now, if you've been following the channel, you know uh, that we are very much into Grandstream. We have deployed uh, since 2019-ish uh, over 7,000 brand new handsets. We've got hundreds of UCM PBXs out there that we support. And uh, I just want to show you a little bit about the value side of it. Besides the partnership that uh, you can you can get into with Grandstream, um, they provide, you know, support. Um, they do things, you know, they put their, their public beta out there. It's not behind a paywall. They ask for feedback and things like that. So we like that part of it. But the system itself, you can take a non-voice person and you can have them doing very um, basic administrative tasks in the system with very minimal training because it's just kind of intuitive. And then all of the things that come bundled into the PBX make it an even greater value. So let's uh, take a look at this. So first of all, if you go by a Grandstream UCM 6301, it's about $214.99 is what you can get it for. You can find it anywhere in between there. I'll leave an affiliate link down below on Amazon. I think this is about $218. Uh, I'll leave an affiliate link in case you want to get one to verify all these things for yourself. Out of the gate, it comes with a two-year warranty, um, and you can add that third year for like $21, right? <clears throat> so, but the one thing about the PBX is look at how nice the interface is. If you've used some of the other systems, some of the other systems just try to cram so much stuff into one space that the, the interface is a dumpster fire, right? This is laid out really nice. It's laid out like all of the Grandstream interfaces now so that you've got that familiarity, right? Now, this PBX that we're looking at, this is, would be the equivalent of a 6300 series, but it's running on our GCC 6010, our converged platform with our networking and our firewall and all those options but as we go down through here and we just we just browse like you know here's active calls uh and when there's an active call there's a really nice button you can barge you can hang up you can do all those kinds of things some of those some systems don't allow you to do that now the uh, ucm is based on asterisk and we can get to the API. So if there are things that are not in the UI and we understand the API, we can still do some of those things. But when you look at this, it is a polished package that they have put together. Whether you are running a dedicated UCM, a GCC, whether you're running cloud UCM, it all looks the same. For the most part, it functions the same. And let's just take uh, an example of the, the, the functionality. We'll run through it here real quick. So, of course, all your systems are going to give you inbound, outbound routes, extensions, extension groups, your VoIP trunks, those things. But under call features, we've got multimedia meetings, right? So video meetings. We've got our IVR, voicemail setup, ring groups. We can restrict calls. We've got paging and intercom. Now, whether this is just standard paging or multicast paging, it's right here. We have a an operator panel that we can build to give operators of the system through either the web interface or through the wave app a nice control panel where they don't have to necessarily have full admin access to the PBX. We can build these custom panels. Call queuing comes in, it comes complete into the system and you even get uh, statistics that you can download. Um, you can make it automatically download them. And so the call queue feature is very, it's very feature rich. You've got pickup groups, dial by name, speed dial. We've got the callback feature that, that people want. Uh, we can do uh, some event listing here. We're going to get into some of this in a video. We've got all of our feature code set up and you can come in here and you can change it from the default. A lot of your asterisk based systems are going to have these same feature codes. You can do faxing, complete faxing from here, uh, whether it's uh, to email or through the web interface. You get a complete fax solution built into this. You get call park in here. You get uh, all of your emergency calling set up, scheduled calls. Here's the fax sending. Announcements. You get an announcement center. 
you get uh, you can do share called appearance. Here's our announcements here. Then you can do you can have instant messenger uh, inside of the PBX. There's a live chat option. There is a message. Uh, you can send a broadcast message to people who are logged into uh, instant messaging and to live chat. Uh, PBX settings this is going to be the kind of the same except here they do have a file manager and if we are uh, connected to uh, PBX we can make sure that we're backing things up to the NAS comes included uh, system settings that's going to be pretty much the same it's got uh, built-in contact management and you've got external contacts that you can add extension contacts we can do department management privilege management uh, here we can do device management, so you've got uh, on-site meetings, so we can actually schedule meetings through this. Maintenance, you do have full network troubleshooting um, right, right through the UI. Of course, we've got the awesome operation log that we talk about. You've got your syslog. Down here, CDR. The, the system comes with full CDR. You don't have to pay for some add-on to be able to download your CDR, you've got your statistics, your recordings, remote connect. That's the other thing where we can manage this remotely for free without punching holes in our firewall. Then under integrations, here's that API. We can expose the API. Here's our AMI, our CTI. We get a CRM link and you can link to uh, Sugar CRM, VTiger, Zoho, Salesforce, and ACT. Property management systems, if you have you know, some sort of a, uh, a hotel or a motel or whatever, you can run a local property management system right on the PBX if you don't want to buy one, or it can hook into HMobile, Mitel, HSC, and that comes with the system. Now, QMetrics is an outside service that writes really in-depth uh, Q management reporting and things like that, so you can hook into that. We've got Google Services integration. Um, we've got the wave integration and this is the one that's built into the GCC. So then when you start looking at the standalone hardware, we can do high availability just by having two, two units. We don't have to have a special license or anything like that. And if we just go look at one of the other popular PBXs, when we start looking at some of these, um, oh, the other thing that it has on a standard UCM under device management, that's where your zero config is going to be. And that's where you can actually uh, manage grand stream IP cameras. Now on the GCC, this it is the uh, device management here where we can see our uh, video cameras or our VoIP devices. And so you can do you know policies and templates and things like that. And you can do provisioning of devices. You can also do provisioning of devices remotely, right? This all comes with this PBX for 214 or the Amazon one is like 218. That's the one I'll leave the link down to below. Yes, if you buy that, I do get a little bit of a, a commission. But when you look at some of the, you know, like here is Conference Pro extension routing, which you can do extension routing uh, on the grand stream, faxing, paging, parking, Sys Admin Pro. Uh, you can do a lifetime or a 25 year license for 349 bucks or a one year license for 169 but when you start looking at all of these different modules that you have to to pay for a lot of this stuff is built directly into the UCM and it doesn't matter whether it's this PBX or whether it is um, I don't know pick like you know pick pick a, 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 a PBX that is based on on asterisk right where you know, they want to start selling modules and that 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 functionality and things um, is, you know, behind a paywall or is, is restricted. With the UCM, you get everything that Grandstream has. They don't hold anything back and they're constantly adding features. I don't know who asked for a property management system, but now it's there and we are going to end up doing a video on that. I've got some gear in the rack back here uh, where we're going to take a traditional analog phones and convert them over to VoIP phones in a hotel like environment. But for us, the value just doesn't get any better. And there are going to be people that say, well, you know, the firmware, this or that every, every manufacturer has firmware issues. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter whether it's Grandstream, Synology, Ubiquity, Sangoma, 
Cisco, everybody has firmware problems, right? And so, but the, the thing is, right, this is the dual-edged sword of vendors that are in this space is that the gear is cheap enough that people can afford it, which is great. I think that that low, uh, low barrier, you know, to entry is fantastic because I want people to learn. I want people to be educated. Um, so having that low barrier is fantastic. But at the same time, if someone isn't going to take the time to actually learn how to deploy things properly, I mean, we get emails on systems that are jacked up and we have to go in and help people fix them. And then we train people and say, you know, uh, call us. And I mean, these are, you know, people are, we don't charge a, a lot to set a system up, but there are people charging a lot of money and it doesn't matter what the vendor is. I mean, we see it all. We see it at Synology. We see it with... Uh, Grandstream, we see it with Ubiquity. We, I mean, we see it with Cisco, you know, like people don't go through the full setup. They don't complete it. And then all of a sudden there's a problem and they want to blame the manufacturer when um, maybe there's a firmware issue, but maybe it is that you don't understand how to make the system run properly. So that happens. And, and there are things that we will turn down that we will walk away from because we don't know what we're doing, right? Or we'll refer to another company and we don't want to get in that same uh, position. So if you've got, before I get the the rest of the UCM videos out, if you've got any questions about the PBXs and the functionality that they provide for that value, let me know down in the comments. If you want to get one of those PBXs, I'll leave that Amazon affiliate link down below. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, share, follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below along with the affiliate links, a Patreon link. And if you need IT consulting, if you need somebody to help fix your VoIP system, your network, your storage, your Wi-Fi, your security cameras, reach out at willyhow.com. There's a contact form right there on the front page fill that out and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible come on over to community.willyhow.com sign up help us build our community once again i'm willie i want to thank you for being here and as always i'll see you in the next video